I'm here for you. Anytime. Did you say Stinky Pete was out prospecting? I've been so caught up in these rumors about rustlers that I haven't had time to check up on him. Could you go out to the mines and make sure he's all right? I'd sure appreciate it. All right, deputy, take care and say hi to Pete for me when you find him.
you did it. You stopped the ghost train. Woo! I'm much obliged. Oh, would you listen to that? That there's the sound of sea ready. Oh, what in tarnation? Oh, that would have scared the life out of me. Had I had any left. <laughs> well, look at that. A map. Yep, that's gotta be from Pete. Maybe it'll tell us where he is. Say, I know where this is. It's that old cave up by the bridge. I wonder what Pete's up to in that old mine shaft. Deputy, I'd be much obliged if you go check on him. Be careful, that mine's full of bats. You may need to scare them off before you go in. Meantime, I'll stay here in town and try to track down those rustlers. was giving me goosebumps. Thank you, partner. Now looky what I found. It's gotta be some kind of treasure, I reckon. Why, that looks like a treasure map. Now there's something familiar about this. Hey, I got it. This here is the fishing spot I told you about. That must be a clue. I bet it's the location of something valuable. You get down there and use that fishing pole to see what you can find. Store. You found it! Gold nuggets! Wait a minute. I know these anywhere. These are mine. Oh, Eureka! That map was a clue to where the rustlers hid my gold. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I tell you, that stinky Pete was just trying to mislead the rustlers, planting false trails, faking maps. Trouble is, he fell for his own trickery. Turns out, there were no rustlers, just Pete overreacting to something that was never there to begin with. <laughs> anyway, since you've proven yourself in this rugged frontier town, I think it's about time I made you a full deputy and a certified member of the Roundup Gang. Here's your badge, partner. Wear it with pride. all these water jars. I'll get this down in no time. Hey, why don't we practice together? That's it. You're doing real good. Man, you've got it balanced in everything. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Hey, that was great. You should go tell Baloo how he did. Oh, and uh, if you see any more water jars, pick them up so I can keep practicing. You two seem to be working up some kind of balancing act. Well, I don't know about that. Hey, how about trying something a little more useful in the jungle? Like showing me how a man cub catches a fish. Oh, yeah. Well, go on if you have to. But I really want to see how you go about catching fish. Oh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Man, that's a real socceroo. Oh, those fish don't stand a chance with you around. Say, Mowgli just told me he wants to learn how to catch fish just like you do. You know, I bet you could find everything you need to make him his own fishing pole right here in the jungle. What do you say? So long, and don't forget to track down what you need for that fishing pole. Oh, gee, thanks. I can't wait to try this out. Oh, and here's something I found for you, for being such a great friend. Thanks. I sure can use more water jars to practice with. I'm still dropping them a lot. Oh, no, you got my bananas back. Man, you are the best. Oh, thanks, kid. Oh, boy, those bananas hit the spot. <laughs> now I feel like dancing. Come on, let's get with the beat. 
Oh, yeah, that's a real jungle beat. Oh, yeah, you sure made my day, kid. Here, I bet you could use this. Now, you go and have some fun today, you hear? Here's a bit of intrigue. This ancient book speaks of a treasure map divided into pieces and scattered hither and yon. I nominate ye. Have a look around these parts, if you will. Every piece of the map, you say. We're sure to make our fortune now. Mm. Uh, perhaps some uh, precious cargo fell off the HMS Columbia as she sailed along. I suggest you find the spot and cast your fishing line. Perhaps you'll hook a treasure. Exchange. What did he find? A vast. Tis but a rusty old key and some sort of scroll. Well, let's have a look. Come back when I've had time to decipher it. We'll not operate when Coin Hopper is full. If locked, contact maintenance for key. I confess, this message has me confounded. Uh, perhaps Fortune Red can shed some light. So polite you are. But you ought to be a little more bold, I dare say. Twould be rude of me to barge in on you. Go first, if you please. Best be on your way. Seek out that soothsaying. Hi! <laughs> when they say too much of a good thing, that's just what they're talking about. What a boon of luck for you. This fortune belongs to the pirate that turned it loose. What I wonder is, will you give this treasure to Black Barty? Do you think it'll turn the tide of fate for him? Or will he lose it, just like he always has? Gold! I'm swimming in it at last! Perhaps me curse is lifted true. Oh, thank ye, Fortune Red. And thank ye, friend. This be for you. I've a sad tale to tell you. I took me fortune and went back to Puerto Dorado. There, I finally got me hands on that good ship, the Wicked Wench. But a strange wind came along and carried away all the ammunition. Me crew mutinied on the spot. They called me the least fierce pirate they'd ever seen. I saw something rather interesting today. A message with a bottle floating in it, or uh, something like that. Do you suppose it might lead us to a treasure? If only there was some way we could fish it out and see. You caught it! Oh, thank you! Now we shall know what it says. Would you go to the Hundred Acre Wood and see? Must we say goodbye? Oh. Well, I hope you will visit the Hundred Acre Wood very soon.